uh, today. Uh, also, uh, college football TV ratings from last weekend are finally out and all official. And uh, no surprise here. We already knew it was going to be a monster number. Uh, but every Thursday, and I guess now we won't be able to do it as much, but best believe this will be, uh, we might turn this into like a recurring segment next year, like the ratings thing, because I do think, especially with the, the shifting landscape, it, it is interesting um, to, to keep bringing up. But uh, here we are, week 13, the final results now in, and uh, as was initially reported, had to wait on a lot of the other ratings, but huge number for Ohio State and Michigan and the Wolverines big win to get them into the Big Ten championship game and secure a spot in the playoff uh, Fox noon uh, slot got them 17.14 million viewers uh, over 11 million more viewers than the next best game 11 million on its own would be enough for most weeks to have the highest number period uh, but this one's just the difference between first and and second place, absolutely massive number uh, for the Buckeyes and the Wolverines. Uh, so, yeah, 17.1 million for them. Uh, Florida, Florida State, the second highest rated game. That was a Friday night contest on ABC because of a holiday weekend and whatnot. 6.71 million viewers for Florida and Florida State had 7.1 million viewers as one point in time. Most watched game, according to Sports Media Watch, but between those two in over a decade, or in exactly a decade, since 2012, when they drew 8.5 million. Uh, this was the highest mark since then. Fell a couple million short of that, but still progress compared to the last 10 years. Yes, this is the time that both of them are actually you know, fairly decent uh, at the same time. I know that Florida finished at 6-6, six and six, but uh, the quarterback battle in this one in the game was intriguing on the surface of Jordan Travis and Anthony Richardson, you know, tune in for that mm -hmm. uh, alone. Plus it, you know, the stadium is actually sold out. Like, no, like one of half of the fan base isn't mad because their team is really terrible. So, yeah, it was, it felt almost like old times, although there was nothing on the line but bragging rights. We didn't even ask you about this at all this week. Yeah. I'm, so I'm, how do you feel? Because was, he's becoming, like, you're, I mean, you're getting to be an elitist. Dude, was, Florida State, they beat Florida. And by the way, I didn't put this on our pickums because I didn't think anybody would pick Florida. Yeah. Like I try, like I, I think rivalry week, it makes it easy to put a lot of just the, the go-to games. But then again, there were some like Florida, Florida State, where I'm like, we're all just going to pick the same team. So I tried to find some that maybe we diverged on, but I might just need to put that up there just because next yeah. time around, a well, LSU was the same thing. Well, and look, I, I think that next year it'll be – well, depending on what happens to a quarterback at Florida, if Anthony Richardson comes back, then I think the game will be probably about the same because uh, I think Florida's going to get better in year two under Billy Napier. So uh, I thought the game was really great. I, I, I did. I think that uh, – I think the officials turned it into a ref show a little bit too late, but, you know, that happens, um, and, it, and it wound up – working out for for the good guys and at least in my opinion uh but yeah it's great and i think uh you know you look at what mike norvell has done uh in in building that program back up and the, the they're on they're on the rise right now he's going to be able to do some things there uh it puts a lot of people at ease are you this one of getting I, well, he's getting like you with Matt Rule. So I am. I am. No, I, yeah, yeah, no, I, yeah. I wanted he's got wins i wanted oh, yeah. i wanted mike norvell when they hired him and then when they lost to Jack State, I was or whoever. Yeah, I wasn't was. sold, man. I was, I was like, starting oh, okay. to. I was starting to ask you know, some questions, uh, like, but he's he's uh, calmed those questions for for me, and I'm just uh, you know an average viewer compared to the FSU faithful. Notre Dame, USC, third highest rated, just a shade under at six six eight. Now both number. those games were on the same, huh? That's a, that's a good number. Yeah. Yeah, and they were on opposite of each other, so uh, you had a or, excuse me, they, they were on both on ABC. Uh, Notre Dame and USC was on uh, ABC Saturday night. That Florida Florida State game was on the Friday night. So back to back nights, huge numbers for uh, the ABC uh, side of things. Six six eight for Notre Dame, USC. Six two seven for the Iron Bowl, uh, Auburn and Alabama. Despite the fact that you know obviously this wasn't the typical matchup between these two with Auburn in in the midst of a coaching change. Iowa State TCU four point three four million viewers. Mm -hmm. So clearly a lot, a lot of people of excitement with uh, what's going on with TCU. And I bet a bunch of people yeah. wanting them to lose, watch them to keep up with what was going on. Of course, yeah. that was easily why that number was why it was. It wasn't because Iowa State or TCU have massive fan bases that were all, you know, tuned into this. It, that definitely had to do with the rest of the country wanting to see TCU uh, lose. LSU A&M 392. NC State, North Carolina, 361. Oregon, Oregon State, Civil War, 356. And then Arkansas, Missouri, and UCLA, Cal also getting above the 3 million mark. So very healthy weekend of viewership. And then Baylor, Texas was a 
borderline top 10 game, 2.69 million uh, for the Texas win down in Austin. Was the World Cup going on Friday? Mm -hmm. When did the United States play on Friday? Uh, I don't even remember. I'm not not locked into that like many yeah. others are. Because I saw that, and there, there might be, maybe it was before that game started. Well, I don't I think it had any effect because that's 2.69 no, for a game. That, no, yeah. that's my point is I think there might have been a little bit of distraction. That's a good number no matter what. Yeah, yeah uh, there were several. Friday at 11 o'clock? Several others that had $2 million above. I think it, it had to have been, and I don't know for sure, but probably the biggest weekend in terms of two-plus million viewers for games, and like 15 of them had Two plus million or, or more. So a uh, big, big weekend. But yeah, definitely Michigan and Ohio State with a massive number of 17 million. And I'll leave it here. Uh, transfer.